How does real life pen test scenarios differ from doing CTFs like on Hack the Box? They differ in a few kind of major areas. When you're doing a CTF, the primary goal of the CTF generally is to get root access on the backend server. If there is a web server, for example, you need to do a file upload bypass, maybe you need to steal a session cookie, but the end goal is to get a shell and then elevate your privileges to get root. The primary goal of a pen test is not that. The primary goal of a pen test is a much holistic approach to whatever application or server that you are testing. You report on both informationals, lows, mediums, highs, and criticals if you're able to find them. So the nature of a pen test is just much more holistic in nature. Second, when it comes to a CTF, there's usually only one right path to fully pwn the machine and all the other paths are rabbit holes. In a real engagement, a rabbit hole might actually lead you to fully compromising the domain or finding some massive vulnerability because you fell down into that rabbit hole. So in an actual pen test, you have a lot more freedom to do research and to dive into the application from that perspective. Another way it's different is you have to remember in an actual pen test, you're working directly with the clients. You're not just hacking all the things. On a CTF, you can sort of like spray and pray whatever script you wanna run. And if it takes down the machine, well, you can just reset it. In the real world, you have to be extremely careful. A lot of times, if you take down a machine, you may take down a production instance and you're going to cost the company a significant amount of money. So you need to be careful with the tools and the scripts and the enumeration that you're doing that you don't accidentally take something down. And then finally, the client communication is another big piece, like I just mentioned, but it's communicating with the client throughout the engagement. When I do a pen test, I let the client know in the beginning of the day, hey, here are the things that I'm focusing on today. So if you do see me in your logs, this is why. And at the end, I always give them a quick summary. Here's everything I did today. So that if they wanna correlate it with their logs or their blue team, they are able to do that. And of course, in a pen test, you have the report at the end and you often have a debrief. That's when you sit down with the client, you share your screen and you walk them through the pen test report step by step and answer any questions that they might have. So the skills that you learn on a platform like Hack the Box or Hack Smarter, the technical skills are super helpful for a pen test, but just remember a pen test is much more all encompassing, much more holistic, and there is a big focus on communication, both soft skills and written skills. So thank you for the question. That's my quick answer on how a CTF and an actual pen test is different. Hopefully that's helpful. I did not plan that. That was just me winging it and making stuff up. So I'm sure I missed things, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. What are some other things I maybe missed on the difference between a CTF and a real pen test engagement?